Here are the Epistogramma triple reds that I have been waiting about two months for. Well, probably not, I'm exaggerating. Probably like six weeks. The lady put a post up saying that she was going to have some ready soon. That was a while ago, and she contacted me. We were supposed to meet last weekend, but there was a snowstorm. So we met tonight. She said there's at least two males in there. Two of the six are males, possibly a third, but... We'll see what I get. I gotta let them grow out for quite a while. I'd say that that's a male, right? Ooh, they're, yeah, they're, they're skittish, but I think I have two males for sure. They're gonna go in this tank right here. I got plants for that last night, and I hope everything will go all right, and this will give them a good spot to grow out. I do need to add some caves so they have their own areas, but for now, this should be good. Here are the guppies I received tonight. Uh, these were given to me. I was that right there, that big female, that is a blue dragon guppy. I was supposed to purchase a pair of them, but the male died this week. I'm hoping she's still holding eggs, so that way I can get some blue dragons. The orange one is a koi, male koi guppy, and the two white ones are albino steel nebulas. The Babies, or the fry and the juveniles are all either black metal lace or blue dragon mixed in. So that'll be interesting. I'm going to put those in this tank down here. I need to get some plants in here. I have plenty of duckweed. Not duckweed. Well, I do have plenty of duckweed. But uh, guppy grass and java moss. So I can put some of that in there. And maybe move some of these down but I want to see what happens first there's a lot in here but they're doing great so right here is a female angelfish that I received tonight the guy is moving and wanted to rehome her he said he believes she's holding eggs I'm gonna put her in my 55 gallon that currently has two male angels I believe and we will hope that they breed but I also hope it does not tear their friendship apart because they're close and they've been together for a while so I just put the female in here that I received after drip acclimating her her colors are definitely not very bright right now yeah and my tank is really dirty but anyway the two males I believe they're both males they have humps on their head. They actually instantly started butting heads. They're usually best buds, so I hope this doesn't tear them apart, but it seems like Ura, who is the original uh, angel that I got, he was an only fish. Well, he had these little dither fish, but he was the only angel in the tank for eight months when we got him, and now, we had got some others that didn't end up making it. But Angel and him have been really good buds. But now I'm not sure what's going to happen. So we'll see. Um, it appears she has some stuff on her tail. I'm thinking that might just be from pet, the delivering. Uh, I picked him up from a guy. So maybe it's the stuff she was laying in. But he said he believes she's holding. And she's already cleaning off the wall here. So... Uh, maybe she's not. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. But we're going to see what happens. Look. Look. They're already trying to impress her. This will be quite interesting. So I just put the Epistos in after drip acclimating them. They're all... They're pretty small. But they're all kind of Checking it out, seeing what's happening, looking for their spot, so to speak. They're all siblings, they came from the same set of parents, I'm pretty sure, so they'll get along for now until they get a little bit older. I'll have to get some more line of sights and some caves in here that one right there oops 
that one is pretty nice especially for a three hour travel I'd say the colors are phenomenal the guppies also seem to be enjoying their new home but I mean they're guppies so they seem to always acclimate pretty well I really like these albino steel nebulas I wasn't actually sure what I was getting this is one week. Oh no, sorry. This is five days after being in their new home. They're pretty skittish. They hide out a lot, but they seem to be liking it. I've been feeding a mixture of brine shrimp, krill flakes, and small cichlid pellets. This is one, oh, I keep saying one week. This is five days after getting these guppies. Um, one of them gave birth. There's itty bitty babies in here, as you can see. And I lost, I come out one day, I just couldn't find the other albino steel nebula. Um, wow, my camera is not focusing at all. This is five days after getting the fish in here. And at first we had a little bit of problems with this guy and this guy fighting over her. Um, but everything seems to be going pretty well now for the most part they have their moments